we need uh, both uh, politically strong Europe uh, and uh, economically, economically dynamic Europe. Uh, and uh, both are related uh, to, uh, to the situation as regards uh, economic uh, development uh, inside the European Union. In other words, uh, we have uh, currently such uh, big problems uh, in, uh, in terms of unemployment, uh, in terms of uh, people feeling uh, insecure about their own future. We have to tackle this. Uh, once we have uh, made progress uh, in economic development uh, and uh, job creation, uh, I'm sure that uh, the European public uh, uh, will have uh, much more confidence uh, on their leaders, uh, which will facilitate uh, for them to take decisions uh, also in a better climate, uh, better conditions uh, as regards uh, our access and roads. I find it very important that uh, we have been able to make uh, moves with, moves with uh, effectively all the countries of the Western Balkans uh, and uh, thus uh, bringing the countries closer to the European Union and uh, giving them better economic opportunities and, uh, and uh, political stability. Uh, full cooperation with uh, the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia has been uh, always and uh, will remain a condition to move further in, in uh, European integration. I'm very glad that uh, we were able to open the negotiations on a stabilization and association agreement with uh, Serbia and Montenegro uh, recently. That's a result of the reforms in the country, both reforms in the country, and uh, significantly improved uh, cooperation with the Hague Tribunal. Now, there are challenges ahead, uh, and uh, certainly the question of the referendum in Montenegro is uh, one of these. Uh, we hope that uh, and we expect that uh, everybody very carefully considers uh, the holding and uh, the timing of a possible referendum. Now all energy should be focused uh, on, uh, on the negotiations on the stabilization and association agreement. Uh, that I'm sure that is uh, the best, uh, best service to the citizens of uh, Serbia and Montenegro. As regards Kosovo, uh, which, uh, we need to both uh, work in order to enhance, uh, improve uh, the standards of uh, minority protection and uh, decentralization measures and other things. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we need to proceed uh, on the talks on the future status of uh, Kosovo. In my view, it is. Uh, for the benefit of everybody that we have a uh, clarity for the future state. We expect that uh, Serbia and Montenegro will, will uh, contribute, contribute uh, in a constructive manner to this process. Uh, and uh, on our part, uh, we are ready to provide a credible and uh, concrete uh, European perspective uh, for Serbia and Montenegro. I don't uh, think uh, setting uh, dates without uh, very strong uh, reasons, very strong grounds is uh, very helpful. It's more important now to focus all the energy on the negotiations and uh, the economic and uh, legislative reforms that are needed uh, and uh, follow the roadmap that we have uh, for completing the stabilization association agreement. Uh, Thank you very fine. much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.